read my Bible? Does that make you feel better? Hey, George. You wouldn't be preparing my men for death now, would you, soldier? No, Sarge. Absolutely not. Because I've been hearing you talk to them about God and the Bible and all that, and you realize that's not your job. Yes, Sarge. Dear John Paul, I think about you every day. You know, I have no idea how my dad died. Who's Eddie Adams? No idea. Why don't you try to contact him? Maybe he can fill in some blanks. I got a son, too. Yeah. yeah I got your back, Steve. Nothing is going to happen to you. So why are you guys going to D.C.? Driving to D.C. to see our father's name on the Vietnam Wall. Can I read one? Dear Eleanor and Wayne, it's been raining here for 12 days straight. I've been looking at things a little differently, thanks to this guy, Stephen George. Stephen's kind of religious. He's going to be a preacher or something. I didn't know that. One of our C-47s went down behind enemy lines. We will go in there and bring them home. Greater love has no one than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. Dear Wayne, I always struggled with my belief in God. But I'm thinking about thinking about it. There's a verse that my friend Stephen keeps telling me about. Your dad got my dad to read the Bible. Things that he's seen me do. I think he could forgive me. Well, that is the beauty of our father. He loves you. Selflessly. This ain't the first time I've made this trip. My mama wouldn't see it. But I never made it. Let me go, Sarge. I got your back. No, you're staying right here, Stevie. Not a chance. Steven! We gotta fall back! I got you covered! Go! Me here is temporary. Paradise with him is eternity. Oh.